Shalom. Shalom. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai. Bahashem Rakah Kodash. Yahweh be the name of the Father, who the world may cause God. Yahweh. Meaning, He exists. He is to be. Bahashem in the name. Yahweh Shai. Who the world may call Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai. Meaning, He is the deliverer. He saves. He is salvation. Bahashem in the name. Rakah Kodash. Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles. And elders of Great Millstone who teach on Google who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth to risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwatim, listen and listen and learn it in sincerity and in truth and in silence. Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwatim meaning sisters, Shalom. Meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto, here with another lesson. Alright, we'll get right into it. You see this article here. November 5th, 2023. The hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. This article came out on Bloomberg. Bloomberg News. And it says, Putin's move to secure Libya bases is new regional worry for U.S. Right? Read a, read a little bit and we'll uh, grab a scripture. Grab that it's equal 38. Because right, everything is playing out according to prophecy, man. You know what I mean? Prophecy. Everything, absolutely everything is playing out. For prophecy. All prophecies have their lot. Have their lot right? And it reads here. Russia is moving to expand its military presence in eastern Libya. A plan that could lead to a naval base giving it a significant foothold on Europe's southern doorstep, right? So, Gog of Magog, the Medes, Russia, is looking to establish a footprint in Libya, right? Naval bases. Let's get a scripture. Ezekiel 38 and 1, and it says prophecy about Gog and future invasion of Israel. Ezekiel 38 verse 1, And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog. Right? So the angel world, the, the Gog, the land of Magog, is today's uh, landmass of Russia. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against them, right? And you're looking at this word chief prince. Chief, the Hebrew word is Rosh. Prince, the Hebrew word is Shar. Rashar, Russia. Right? And originally, uh, the, uh, the land of Gog, the land of Gog and Magog, it was the sons of, of Japheth, the Japhetic sons who were dark skinned people. Right, those that are there today, these Edomites, they're not the people of the, they're not the original people of the land. Right, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, <coughs> Salakia, Meshach and Tubal, the landmass today is Turkey, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Power, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach. And to Baal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. Right? So the Lord is turning back Gog and Magog, Russia today, and putting them back in a, a, a vibration that they used to be in. Alright? So when the Lord the Lord's speaking parabolically here, if you put hooks in the jaws of a beast or a person, you're going to be able to control what direction you want them to go. The Lord is turning back Russia into that cold world, cold war. Uh, uh, Soviet Union spirit. When Russia was the Soviet Union, they were mighty men. You know what I mean? So the Lord's putting them back in that spirit. 
and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling sword, right? Russia's uh, military might, their military technology, their tanks, their jets, their warships, their nuclear subs that are firing off ICBMs. They tested a new ICBM uh, yesterday. The, the news alert came out that Russia tested a new ICBM for one of their nuclear subs, right? And they, they named the, the new ICBM uh, Alexander the Th Alexander Three. Okay, that's the spirit of the Edomite, man. Right, the, the, the blessing is his sword. Verse 8, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, right, Persia, which is today's Iran. Okay, Ethiopia, today's Ethiopia, and Libya, right, Libya from the region of Algeria to Libya. Okay, you look at the map, I have a map queued up here. Algeria, Libya. So th th these regions, these 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 uh nations that we're reading in Ezekiel thirty-eight are going to be allies with Russia. Right? Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer, right, Turkey, once again. Right, you look in a uh, ancient map of uh land mass right within Asia Minor right and you're gonna see Gomer is in the land mass of uh, Turkey right see right so the Black Sea this is Turkey today Right, Gomer beside Georgia, Russia, right? Okay. See Iraq down there, Syria, the Mediterranean Sea. See Turkey, Mediterranean Sea, Syria. So Gomer, the ancient world. So the landmass of Turkey, Gomer is right about here. Right? Let's continue. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togarma, right, also uh, uh, within the landmass of Turkey, of the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. Here's the point. Verse 7. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Right? So, Gog and Magog, Russia, the Medes, today, the landmass of Russia. They're going to be a big brother. They're going to be a guard. Right? To these allied nations. Right? Let's read this article. Russia is moving to expand its military presence in eastern Libya, a plan that could lead to a naval base, giving it a significant foothold on Europe's doorstep. A defense accord is being hammered out between Russia, President Vladimir Putin, Silakia, between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Libya's eastern military commander Khalifa Haftar, right, Libya's eastern commander, because Libya is split in two, right? Libya, uh, ongoing civil war, right? Since the fall of uh, uh, Muammar Gaddafi, uh, you got uh, you got uh, 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 eastern Libya, which is uh, the region that uh, 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 Putin and their leaders are uh, talking about. So put an imaginary line through it, and then you got uh, western Libya, which uh, the capital city being Tripoli, right? Um, right here, a defense accord is being hammered out between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Libya's eastern military commander Khalifa Haftar following their meeting in Moscow in late September. 
according to people briefed on the matter who asked not to be identified discussing sensitive issues. The escalation of Russian activity in Libya represents a fresh challenge to the U.S. and its European allies, which are already locked in a standoff with the Kremlin over its invasion of Ukraine and the country's potential role in any wider West Asia conflict stemming from the war. Russia has been heavily active in neighboring Syria throughout that country's decade-long civil war, right? And Russia has had Russia has all kinds of uh, military hardware in uh, Syria, right? Uh, read uh, right here. The threat is being taken very seriously by the U.S. administration, said Jonathan Weiner, a former U.S. special envoy to Libya. Keeping Russia out of the Mediterranean out of the Mediterranean has been a key strategic objective. If Russia gets ports there, that gives it the ability to spy on all of the European Union, right? And you know, America the Great, Babylon the Great. It's all about their interests, right? You know what I mean? So. You see the, the eastern side, Benghazi, the western side, Tripoli. So R Russia was to get ports in the eastern side, right? They're right on Greece's doorstep, Italy's doorstep. These are all European Union uh, 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 allies, right? Because as it stands now, for, for Russia, it says Soviet Union here, the old Soviet Union, right? Hooks in thy jaws. They have to come through the, 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 the Black Sea and then through this uh, uh, strait by Istanbul and Turkey. As a matter of fact, I have it queued up. No, not that one. Yeah, right here. So they have to come through the, the, the Black Sea and through the Strait of uh, the Bosporus Strait, which is by Istanbul in Turkey, which goes into the Sea of Marmara. And then another strait right here. The, Dar the Dardanelles Strait, which goes out into the Aegean Sea, the Aegean Sea, which spills out into the, uh, the Sea of Crete and the Mediterranean Sea, right? So this this is a good... The, the, listen, it's all strategic, man, and it's all according to prophecy, man. Right? Let's continue. Russia has a... Russia has had a covert presence in the North African oil exporter for several years via the Wagner Mercenary Group, which moved in during the power vacuum and civil war that followed the NATO-backed removal of Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. And right, that's how uh, that's how America, the Great NATO, the EU, that's how they get down, man. You know, they remove those that are, are staunch uh, 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 adversaries to their agenda. Muammar Gaddafi wanted to establish a, a, a African national currency backed by gold. NATO, the EU, America the Great, they weren't having it, man. So what they do, they, 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 they off them. And since then, Libya has been uh, entrenched in civil war. The Russian Defense Ministry has been systematically taking control of Wagner's activity since its mutinous leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, and his top aides died in a mysterious plane crash in August. The groundwork done by Wagner to advance the Kremlin's interests in Africa and the, and, the, and the West Asia has allowed Moscow to quickly ramp up its foreign military assets. It's also seeking a naval base on the Red Sea in Sudan. Right. Let's look at that map there. Right. So you see Sudan. They get a naval base down here. Russia. Gog, Magog, the Medes. Right. That puts them directly by the Suez Canal, right? And uh, there's a there's a, a reports coming out that a lot of this beef going on in the, in the land right now between H A M A S and the land, right? The Forty Eighters, because the Forty Eighters want to build a, a a canal called the Ben Gurion Canal, right here which runs up into North Gaza and it empties out into the Red Sea to rival the Suez Canal because the Suez Canal has the, the pull. Egypt controls that, man. Right? And this Ben-Gurion Canal that they want to build here, 
right? Uh, from what I was reading, uh, NATO wants to finance it, primarily uh, America and France, and uh, and uh, uh, the Forty Eighters, right? Right here, the Ben Gurion Canal. That's what they want to build. And uh, the Suez is right here. So if Russia, if Russia gets a uh, naval base right here in Sudan, they're good to go, man. You know what I mean? Cause this this is a money this is a money a gravy train right here, man. Right? Let's get a scripture. Uh, right, cause this is the Lord's movie. Everything we see going on is is, is to line up with prophecy, man. Proverbs twenty one and one. It reads, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord Yahweh, right? The king's heart, heart being mine. So whatever the whatever these leaders do, the, these Putin, these Putins, these uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's, these uh, the, the Haftar or Haftar, the, the leader there of the east eastern uh, Libya, right? Uh, Turkey's leader er Erdogan, right? It's the Lord putting, it's the it's the angels of the Lord working on the minds. Of, of these leaders to, to go in the direction that the Lord wants them to go to ultimately fulfill prophecy. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Right? So ultimately, this is the Lord's movie, right? And, the, and all this has to fulfill prophecy, ultimately leading to the war or the war of Armageddon, World War Three, Right? The Valley of Decision. Joel chapter 3, verse 9, it reads, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, right, all you other nations. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, that all the men of war draw near. Let them come up, right, mobilize your militaries, get ready for war. Bring your militaries and set them up where they need to set up, right, right. Putin is being calculative. He wants to set up uh, ports. Let's read that. Right here. It's also seeking a naval base on the Red Sea in Sudan, which would give it permanent access to the Suez Canal, Indian Ocean, and Arabian Peninsula, though a civil conflict in that country may put back those plans. Libya, and you listen, America the Great, they stage coups everywhere, man. They stage coups, they create civil unrest to keep their interests going, right? That's why these BRICS nations are coming together, because they, they know who America is, Babylon the Great. Right? And it's the Lord putting the spirit on these BRICS nations to come together, right? And there's going to be some NATO nations that leave NATO and join the BRICS. France is talking sideways out of two sides of their mouth. Turkey's talking, uh, uh, Turkey's denouncing what the land, uh, the, the 48ers are doing, right? And those are NATO nations. Turkey is the mightiest, the, the mightiest military presence, uh, 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 the mightiest Islamic military presence in the, in, 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 in the Western, Western Asia areas. Right? It goes on to read here. Libya is divided between dueling administration in the western capital, Tripoli, and the east, where half our whole sway. It's common for each side to oppose foreign policies and other decisions made by its rival. Haftar 79 controls many of the major oil fa facilities in Libya, an OPEC producer that's home to some 40% of Africa's reserves. He's looking for air defense. He's looking for air defense systems to protect them against rival forces in Tripoli, who have been backed by Turkey's military according to people close to a self-styled Libyan National Army. Right. And according to prophecy, Russia and Turkey will be allies, man. Right. Right. Elder, Elder, Elder Apostle Ramnab said in his video uh, uh, yesterday, it's not about what these nations have done in the past. It's, well, it's about what they're going to do according to prophecy. Roughly paraphrasing. Goes on to read here. He also wants training for his Air Force pilots and special forces, they said. In return, a handful of air bases 
currently occupied by Wagner paramilitaries, will be upgraded to host Russian forces. Russian warships may also get permanent docking rights at a Libyan port, most likely Tobruk. Let's find out where this is. Right? Most likely on the east side of, uh, of uh, Turkey. Right? But you see, it's all uh, the, 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 the heart of the king is in the hands of the hand of the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai. Tobruk. It's a port city on Libya's eastern Mediterranean coast. Right, okay. All right, so Egypt, here's Libya. Okay, here's Libya, so it's right here. So it's on the other side of Benghazi, right? Port city, right below, right below Athens, Greece. You got Italy over here, right? So Putin wants warships right here, man. Permanent, what did it say, what did it say? Yeah, Russian warships may also get permanent docking rights at a Libyan port, a Libyan port, most likely Tobruk, located just a few hundred kilometers across the Mediterranean from Greece and Italy, according to other people with knowledge of the talks. However, that is a longer term prospect because it will require substantial upgrading of port facilities, they said. Russia so far has only one naval base in the Mediterranean at Syria, at Syria's Tartus. Right, yeah, because R- Russian hardware has been in Syria for a long time, man. What else to say here? Um, right here. Haftar's deepening ties with Moscow have raised concern in Washington and prompted a series of high-level visits to the country this year in a bid to persuade him to change course. Right, and there's nothing, nothing America, the great Babylon, the great can do so yeah, they're 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 concerned about the deepening ties between Haftar, who, who is uh, Libya's uh, leader in the east, and uh, 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 Russia. But there's nothing they could do about it, man. Scripture says these the, these these nations are going to line up, right? These nations going to line up. We read it. Libya's going to line up with a uh, uh, with a uh, Russia. Libya and Algeria. Algeria is right over here, right? This is Algeria, right? So, uh, uh, Ethiopia, we read it. Turkey, right? Syria is already there with uh, Russia. Iran, Iran and Russia have a long-standing uh, uh, relationship, man. Right? It's common knowledge that the drones that Iran's using in that skirmish with uh, the Ukraine, they got them from Iran. Right? This is all. This is all lining up in the prophecy for the for the war of Armageddon, man. Right, but before that, the 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 sea hip, the Revelation thirteen verse sixteen on down must be must be mandated throughout the four corners of the earth, the grain of rice. Right, but we're seeing rumors of war, wars and rumors of war. We're seeing uh, uh, countries uh, uh, mobilize. Right, they can't help it. The Lord's putting the spirit on them, man. Right? Joel 3 verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Right? Beat your plowshares into swords, farming instruments, farming tools. These agricultural countries. Right? You're, you're, you're making a transition from a time of peace to, 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 to a time of war. Right? You're, 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 you're utilizing the, the, the populace. These pop, you're, you're going to draft from the, from, from the, you're going to conscript uh, uh, farm workers. Are right, you going to go from a time of peace into into war? You're going to conscript conscript your citizens, draft your citizens, all hands on deck, right? Let the weak say I'm strong, right? These historically weaker countries, they're now they're now uh, they have they, they now possess uranium rods. They now the, the, uh, America the Great now has to be calculative about how they go about things, right? Look at North Korea. 
They don't stop firing off missiles, man. He's known to have starved his citizens. He's known to have started, starved his farm workers and, and his citizens, his, his fishermen. His, his, he's, known, he's known to have starved them to build up his, his military. Right? That man don't stop firing off missiles. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Right, the mighty ones, the angels. Right, the angels are working on the minds of these leaders. Right, scripture says, uh, loose the angels that are bound in Euphrates. Roughly paraphrasing. Right, that's the angels working on the minds. Of these leaders, man. Right, no matter what the leads do, they're going to do what the Lord wants them to do. They can't help it. Revelation 9 verse uh, verse 13. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before power, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river, Euphrates, right? So down there in that region, figures are getting stirred up. Right, you see the Euphrates right here. Euphrates is right here. Right, it runs all the way up through into Turkey, comes down through Syria, right down into Iraq, and it empties out into the Persian Gulf. Right, the Lord's the Lord. The, the listen, this is the Lord's movie. Joel three. Joel 3 verse 11 once again. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, Yahweh. Right, and that's twofold. The mighty ones are also the, the angels in the chariots because the the, 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 the war the, the, the war of Armageddon, World War III, Yahweh and the angels are going to pop up on the scene, man, and start to vaporize things, man. Vaporize e e Esau's multitude of armies. Right, but leading up into that, the Lord has these angels working on the minds of these leaders. But this is going into the the, the battle. Right, the mighty ones being the angels. Verse twelve: Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat. Right, Yahweh Shapat, Yahweh's judgment. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. All right, this is going to take place in the, in the, in the, in the, in in uh, Western Western Asia, what the world what the world call, ignorantly calls the Middle East. This is where the War of Armageddon pops off. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. Right? So the, 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 it's going to be a great slaughter, man. Right? And all, all that ends up over here. All that ends up over here in this region. Right? All that ends up over here in this region. Right? All, all the soldiers that end up here. Because they're going to be mobilized here. Right? None of them are going to survive. Great death. Right? So with that, stay prayed up, prayed all ceasing. Call Allah, Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Baha Shem Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great Mustone who teach one and rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect.